GX7, VIXA V12, we've got both of them and we tested them today so we can give you guys some numbers. My name is Troy Klongerbo, you're watching another club review with US Golf TV and I would say instead of a club review, this probably qualifies as more of a, just a club comparison. We've got, we've got both of these clubs that have been all over the Golf Channel and uh, we tested them for you guys. So first, I want to talk to you guys about what exactly we tested, what we were kind of looking for, and then I want to talk about just the profiles of each club, how they look, how they feel, some of the, just kind of the basic aesthetics of the club. But um, first, before we go any further, how we tested these. Now, both of these clubs are marketed to be replacements where you can take your driver and your three wood out of your bag and replace them with one club. The GX7 says this, the VIXA V12 says this. So we compared those as such. We hit them both off of the ground, just as you would a three wood. We hit them both off of a tee, just as you would a driver, took some numbers, made some observations, and now we're putting this video together for you guys. So, first we started with the GX7, and one of the first things, before I get any further, I wanna talk a little bit about the profile of these clubs. Both very similar in loft. VIXA V12 has a half a degree more loft, 14 and a half versus 14. They both measure up at the same length. You probably can't see it from here, but they both measure up at the exact same length, and we, we used both of the regular shafts because it'd be very easy to you know, cross compare a senior and a stiff flex and we're gonna get totally different numbers. Uh, I don't personally ever hit a regular shaft, but we figured it'd be best to just keep it consistent and we actually pulled our video guy, Nick, from out of the camera. He got in front of it and he hit some shots for us too so we can get a couple of different you know, club head speeds, couple different ball speeds to kind of just see how these things perform. So we started with the GX7, we started by hitting it off the ground and one thing I will say, and you guys can see this by just looking at the way the club is built, the GX7 has a significantly taller crown, which in my opinion would bring that center of gravity up, making it a little bit harder. This one feels a little bit more like hitting a driver off the deck than it does a natural three wood. I had trouble even hitting this thing super solid off of the ground because I just felt like the ball was coming out low. It was kind of hard to hit a consistent, whereas when I hit the VIXA V12 off of the ground, it felt like a natural, it felt like a strong three wood. It felt like a fast, strong three wood. And um, in terms of versatility, if I was in the rough, if I had a goofy lie, if I was hitting something off the tee, I feel like in a versatility play, the VIXA V12 from hitting it off of the ground is a much better fit. Uh, the GX7, I actually, had to, I actually had trouble even getting the ball to, to get up in the air and fly. You'll notice the spin numbers were down. Um, you'll notice that some of the flight, I mean, I only got the ball to fly maybe a, you know, a couple hundred yards and it would chase out 30 or 40 yards. Whereas with the VIXA V12, it was a lot easier to get that ball in the air from off of the ground. And I think that has a lot to do with just the way in which the profile, the way, the, the way that that club head sits. Um, you guys can just see that looking at this right here. I mean, it's, it's, it's a significantly, there's a, there's a significant contrast between the way the two clubs sit. Uh, that was my initial feedback on the way that these clubs perform off of the turf. VIXA V12, a much better fit. But as we switched into hitting these things off of a tee, the GX7, it's more like a dumbed down driver. It's more like a, a reduced driver or like a three wood on steroids. We started launching this and it was starting to perform a lot more like a driver. You were seeing shots, I was seeing shots fly 240, 250 yards, chasing out, spin numbers came down. VIXA V12, we had to tee it significantly lower. Uh, that caused some of the spin numbers, spin numbers to kind of, you know, be accentuated a little bit more. Uh, wasn't able to fly this thing as far, so it's kind of funny. Teed up and off the ground with the VIXA V12, actually pretty comparable. The GX7 was definitely underperforming off of the ground, but went a lot further off of the tee. And uh, I mean, I can let you guys, you guys can look into all these numbers here. We've got all four of the data sets here. We took, I hit about maybe f five, six, seven shots with each. Uh, we picked out the three ones that were sort of comparable and compared them for you guys. You guys can take a peek at those. But, the, but before we kind of wrap this thing up, I want to talk a little bit about the look and feel and kind of give a verdict on where I would go with the club uh, of my choice. And, and first of all, 
I'm not replacing my driver and my three wood with either of these. I see a significant benefit to still having a driver. My driver outperformed both of these. Um, actually, both of these clubs did, in terms of distance, outperform my three wood. Both of them did. But my three wood, I look at it as more of like maybe a gap filler between my driver and maybe my hybrid or whatever. And so I don't even know if either of these would be necessarily a good gap filler because they do fly a little bit more like a driver, you know, a really strong flex. Anyways, the GX7 uh, felt to me to be a little bit lighter. Uh, you know, both Nick and I commented when the Vixa V12, when I really hit this thing well, it just sounded so much more solid. It felt more solid. The flight was consistent. It was predictable. And even for using a regular shaft, uh, we were able to get some really, I mean, consistent ball flights, uh, nice little fades. It was, it was, it was great. So, um, if you guys are kind of looking at, obviously you have to make your decision for yourself. Take a look at the price point, see what you're really trying to replace. If it's that you don't like the way your three wood performs and you want to be able to hit something, you hit three wood, you can use it in the fairway, you can hit it straight, you can keep the ball in play. This Vixa V12 might be the best fit for you. But if you're looking for something more where you're like, I just need to draw, I need, I need something that's gonna perform more like a driver. I don't need to hit it off the ground because I have a hybrid that I like, or I like hitting my six iron, five iron, whatever. You're gonna get more performance off the tee with the GX7. So like I said, you guys can take a look at all the numbers. If it was my verdict, uh, I, I'm going with the Vixa V12. I definitely uh, saw a lot more performance for me personally, but that's coming from me. I mean, my swing speed, maybe less or more than what yours is and you need to do some testing for yourself. But yeah, we spent the morning testing out the two of these. If you guys want more in-depth reviews on either one of these, we've got them both in our description below. So the Vixa V12, we've got a blog and a video. GX7, a blog and a video. So the GX7, we actually did about two years ago. So you guys can kind of cross compare the two based on that. And uh, hopefully whatever you guys go with helps you guys shoot lower scores. So leave us a comment below if you guys have any questions, any comments on what you guys maybe liked, didn't like, things you'd like to see more of. We'd be happy to answer those for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's it. So before you guys leave, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to like the video. If you guys want to share it with a buddy of yours who you guys have been debating with on either one, feel free to send it to them. And uh, have a great day.